An average adult body has around 5 liters of blood. This blood circulates through the body and reaches back to the heart in less than a minute, which means thousands of trips each day. This blood sends oxygen and nutrients to all parts of our body and carries away unwanted carbon dioxide and waste products. All that pumping with a fist-sized organ located in the front of our chest, between our lungs, slightly towards the left and protected by our ribcage, our heart. Heart is the primary organ of our circulatory system which pumps the blood to the entire body via a network of blood vessels. Mm -hmm. In this video, I will explain the working of human heart using my fully working model. I will also show you how I made this amazing model of heart which you can also make for your school project. Heart is a muscular organ divided into two separate sides. The right side of the heart receives deoxygenated blood from the body parts and it pumps it to the lungs. After oxygenation, this blood reaches the left side of the heart from the lungs where it is pumped back into the body. The left and right sides are separated from each other by a wall called septum to prevent the mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. Heart is divided into four chambers. Each side has an atrium, the top part and a ventricle, the bottom part. Atria receives the blood and sends it to the ventricles. The ventricles pump the blood. There are four valves too. They open and close to allow blood to flow in the right direction and prevent backflow. There are two valves that open between the atrium and ventricles on both sides of the heart. There are another two valves where blood flows out of the ventricles. The deoxygenated blood from the upper body and lower body is received by the right atrium via superior and inferior vena cava. However, we have just represented it by using single input from body. This blood passes to the right ventricle through the tricuspid valve. The valve closes and this blood is pumped to the lungs through pulmonary valve carried by pulmonary arteries. Lungs oxygenates this blood. Pulmonary veins deliver this oxygen-rich blood from the lungs to the left atrium. From there, it goes to the left ventricle to the mitral valve. This valve now closes so that no backflow occurs. Left ventricle pumps this blood to the aortic valve, which is carried by the aorta to the body. After oxygen from this blood is used for body processes, the blood reaches the right atrium and the cycle goes on. If you listen to your heartbeat, you will hear two sounds, lub dub, lub dub. The first sound is of the mitral and tricuspid valves closing. The second comes from the aortic and pulmonary valves closing soon after. Let me show you how I made it. For this we need a big piece of cardboard, 4 small water bottles, 150 ml cold drink bottles are of good size, anything pointy to make holes in the bottles, a transparent tube, 2 flow valves, 2 T joints. You can find all these 3 at an aquarium shop at very cheap price hot glue gun, cutter, fevicol, chart papers and a few pastel sheets. Paste the black chart paper on the cardboard to make our background. Then cut shapes of ventricle, lungs and atrium from different pastel sheets. 
After pasting our black chart paper on cardboard, now it's time to attach our organs. I have used pink chart paper for the lungs, blue paper for the right side of the heart and red paper for the left side of the heart. After pasting all parts, our board should look like this. Next, we will make our blood pumping mechanism of heart. Take two bottles and make two holes in one bottle cap and one hole in the other bottle's cap. Make sure that the hole's diameter is slightly less than the outer diameter of the pipe so that your connections will be leak proof. Do take the help of elders while making holes in the bottle caps. After making holes, your bottles should look like this. Cut two such pieces of 4 cm each from our transparent pipe. Attach it to both the sides of our flow valve. After that, it should look like this. Make two such pieces. Attach this valve to two bottles, one with one hole and the other with two holes like this. Do the same for the other two bottles. Cut two pipes. One should be slightly bigger than the bottle and the other should be around 24 inches. Then attach the smaller pipe into the remaining hole of one bottle and the bigger pipe in the other bottle. Now I have inserted these pipes into the bottle. Make sure that the pipes are touching the bottom of the bottle. Now, I will attach it to our board. This setup with the longer pipe will become the left side of the heart. The bottle with two holes being left ventricle and the other one being left atrium. Same way, this setup with a smaller pipe will become the right side of the heart. The bottle with two holes being right ventricle and the other one being right atrium. Make two holes on the bottom of the bottle of left atrium. And one hole on the bottom of the bottle of right atrium. Now, paste or stick these bottles to the board using double sided tape, hot glue gun or threads. Cut two pipes of around 2 feet length each. Insert one pipe into, the, into one end of the T-joint. Insert the other pipe into an, the opposite end. Insert the third end into the small pipe of the right ventricle. These will carry impure blood from the right ventricle to the lungs. Mark two points on each lung. And make holes for pipes. These pipes from the T-connector would go inside the bottom holes of the lungs to the back of the board. and then come out of the top holes to the front of the board. Put these two ends of pipes into the two holes of the left atrium. Make two holes like this. Insert the pipe coming from left ventricle into this hole. and take it out from this hole. Insert this pipe into the right atrium. This pipe represents the oxygenated blood going to different parts of the body from the left ventricle and this pipe represents the deoxygenated blood coming to the right atrium. Make all these connections leak proof using hot glue gun and label all the parts. I covered my cardboard background with a plastic sheet to avoid damage in case of leakage or spills. 
I have leveled all parts and made everything leak proof using hot glue gun. Let's fill some water in the left ventricle and test it. When I first tested my model, I found that the liquid was not going down from the atrium to the ventricle. These tubes are narrow and the complete assembly is airtight. So there was no space for the air to escape from ventricle to facilitate filling of liquid in it. To solve this, I made a small hole in both the ventricles. This hole stays open when the liquid is filling and I close this hole using a nail to make it airtight again while pumping. If you want to learn why this hole is required, check my video in description on Air Occupy Space. And now, enjoy your accomplishment! Thank you for watching my video. If this added any value to you, don't forget to like, share or subscribe to my channel.